The best way to talk about a movie or to critique it is to actually talk about it. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, I've chosen to analyse the film Get Out, written and produced in 2017 by Jordan Peele. It is a satirical horror movie. Um, it is set in America. So a young man, Chris, meets for the first time the family of his girlfriend, Rose. He is introduced to Rose's father, Dean, a neurosurgeon, and Missy, her mother, a hypnotherapist. A lot of strange events have already happened at this point. Comments about black people are made from the parents. The housekeeper, Georgina, and Walter have strange behaviours, and Missy pressures Chris in a hypnosis therapy, which makes him sink into a void called the sunken place. The next day, wealthy white people come to the family house for hermitage. Yet again, inappropriate behaviour is observed from the white people expressing a suspicious admiration for Chris. Chris becomes suspicious and he tries to convince his girlfriend to leave. Meanwhile, Dean holds an auction with a photo of Chris, which a blind artist wins. When Chris packs to leave, he finds photos of Rose in prior relationships with black people, including Walter and Georgina. He tries to leave the house. Where are those keys, Rose? You know I can't give you the keys, right, babe? But Missy triggers him in her hypnosis once again. Chris awakens, trapped to a chair in the basement. In a video presentation, Rose's grandfather, Roman, explains that the family transpo transports their, their brain into the other's body. The blind photographer reveals he wants Chris's body only for sight and his photography skills. Chris manages to trick them, fights back and runs out to leaving his car, but hits Georgina. Remembering his mother's death, he carries Georgina into the car, possessed by Rose's grandmother, Marianne. She attacks him. During the struggle, the car crashes, killing her. Rose apprehends him with Walter, who is possessed by grandfather, Roman. Chris uses the flash on his phone to neutralise Roman, allowing Walter to regain control of his body. Walter takes Rose's rifle, shots her in the stomach and shots himself, killing both of her and Roman. Chris began, begins to strangle Rose. Rose arrives with a TSA car and rescues Chris, leaving Rose bleeding on the road. In terms of the analytical description of the filmmaking, uh, there is a lot to say. First of all, the filming point of view is quite interesting. There's a lot of close-up shots bringing a sense of unease. For example, the shot of Chris' face as he's being hypnotised shows extreme emotion, which then makes the urgency of the same fear as he's feeling. There's also the shot of the teacup when the mother is holding it, which is a crucial moment to the plot. And also there's a shot of the armchair that Chris is sitting on while he's trapped. Low angles showing characters from below, which creates a fearful atmosphere. For example, when Chris expresses to Georgina how he feels uncomfortable around so many white people, Georgina reacts with tears, yet a creepy laugh, and she repeatedly says, no, 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 and shakes her head. The camera is moving down to create an effect. Last but not least, the camera movement that reflects the motion of the character is also present and this creates a sense of unease, especially at the beginning of the film. The music plays an important role in this movie. Um, of course, it's a typical horror movie music, including loud, unsuspected crashes and overwhelming screeching strings, which obviously evokes quick jolts of fear from the viewer. But there's also, for example, the sound of the cup, which brings back to the hypnosis, which is very repetitive. 
The plot is also a very important element in the making of this film um, because the overall plot is not scary but rather interesting and captivating. But there's a few level of plot twist that keeps your attention throughout the second half of the film. The acting game is also very important because the actors keep it very simple and show very raw emotion. Uh, for example, uh, when Chris cries for his mother, we can, we can really believe in these tears. The effects are mostly around the void, but it's more about the storytelling and the attention to detail. Get Out is a movie about race, so colour is a very important element. First of all, we can see blue as a recurrent uh, colour, first in the shirt of Rose and Chris. It's also more or less in the room of Chris, um, and then we can see it also in the t-shirt of Chris's friend, who is from the police. There's also uh, the colour of a void, um, of his void when he's being hypnosed. And then we have a switch of colour because Rose wears a um, black, uh, uh, white and red t-shirt. And also the white guests have re red elements um, in their clothes. Red, of course, is associated with blood. And blood is actually quite an overwhelming element at the end of the movie. But it's also associated a little bit to the secret society or the white secret society. It's also associated also with warnings and danger and it's actually quite uh, foreshadowing because Rose is actually driving a red car when she brings him, brings Chris to meet her family. So it's a little bit, it suggests a little bit that Rose is driving Chris into danger. By the end of the movie, Rose becomes a whole new character. She's dressed all in white, her hair is tied, uh, tied up and she becomes very sterile. So it goes from red to white, which is a bit the colour of no empathy. Last but not least, uh, the end of the movie finishes by a police car with a flashing light, which is blue and red. So it's maybe this idea of um, finally there is some justice between the innocence and the evil. Um, which is made by the police car. Um, and then actually the police car is actually quite a striking element because we feel like a white person is going to get out of that police car and arrest Chris. But actually, it's actually Chris's friends, which is a really big relief for the public at this point. Thank you for listening to my analysis. Uh, I will continue this um, assignment in a written form.